Do you dream of building out your own AI business or tool, but you have no coding experience? Say hello to Vibe Coding. You can now build out AI tools without any coding experience using AI platform builders. Vibe Coding is creating modern day millionaires, and anybody with a laptop can get in on the action. Look at Peter Levels, who built out six AI apps, generating him millions of dollars every single year. Look at Mark Liu or Danny Postma. This could be you. Why should you watch this video? Well, at the beginning of this video, I had no idea how to vibe code. At the end, I actually created my own AI tool that I can now sell on the market. And if I can do it, you can do it. We'll cover finding a viral idea, structuring and building your tool, building a beautiful user interface, connecting your AI model, automating it, marketing it, and monetizing it. Let's go build a new AI business and make you some passive income. Now, before you get ahead of yourself and start building out your platform, the most important step is finding a viral app or software idea that actually solves a problem. The more painful the problem you're solving, the better. Your idea must meet these three criteria. One, it solves a real problem. You wanna identify everyday frustrations for a very specific market and solve them. Two, it's simple to understand. Your solution needs to be easy to use and understand for the people using it. And three, it addresses a big market. Make sure that enough people experience this problem and are willing to pay to solve it. You can find this out using market research tools like ChatGPT Deep Search, Crayon, and Exploding Topics. You can also use ChatGPT for idea generation. Ask it for app ideas that solve legitimate world problems based on the current demand that align with your passion in, and then put your passion there, that will be simple for the user to understand. You do not wanna to have to beg people to buy your stuff. What better way to build out your software interface design than to take inspiration from software that is already killing it? A great tool for this is called Mobbin. You can use the platform to find design inspiration from apps like Duolingo, Spotify, and Netflix. They have over 100,000 screenshots available to scroll through and save for inspiration. Lucky for us, we no longer need to be developers to build out an AI app or platform. So here are some AI coding tools that you can use to build out your concept with no coding needed. That is the AI's job now, which is very nice. So there's Relevance AI, Bubble, Bolt, VoiceFlow, OpenAI, or Agentive. With these platforms, you can drag and drop interfaces and pre-built AI components to build out your dream AI tool. To give you a brief rundown, here are some of the AI tools that you can create with these kinds of apps. You can create an AI chatbot, an AI web app or iPhone app, an AI agent or assistant, data tools, automations and workflows, or content generators. There are a lot more, but each platform has different strengths when it comes to making each different kind of tool. Next, how will your AI tool be structured? You wanna think about the customer journey from the point they open your platform to the point they get what they came for. Every AI tool should follow a simple structure. First, there's the input. The user asks a question, like how can I save $500 per month? Next is processing and prompting. The AI analyzes the user's spending habits, identifies areas to cut costs, and then generates a personalized saving plan. Then there's the output. This is where the AI responds with a tailored recommendation, for example. It might say, based on your expenses, you could save $500 per month by cutting dining out by 20%, canceling unused subscriptions, and setting up an automatic savings transfer. And then it might even offer to create a budget for you. As an example of another tool, Christian Pavarelli made an AI tool that turns people's voice notes into LinkedIn posts by first processing them through ChatGPT and then Claude. You're gonna need to think of what kind of integrations and tools that you need in order to create the full workflow for your AI tool. I'm gonna show you how to add integrations later in this video. I decided to use OpenAI to create an AI assistant. I initially worked with VoiceFlow, but then I found that OpenAI was easier to integrate with the other platforms. VoiceFlow is a little bit more complex to work with. However, it does have a super cool feature that allows you to train your AI assistants with website URLs, which I really liked because with OpenAI, you can only use files for this. So it's kind of a give and take, but I ultimately went with OpenAI. As Steve Jobs once said, design is not just what it looks like and feels like, design is how it works. He understood the importance of good design and we should too, which leads me to my next point. 
Once you've built out your AI tool, you will have to build out your user interface so that people can actually use it. Some of the no-code AI builders I mentioned earlier will include a user interface, but some of them you're gonna need to connect to another platform in order to build one. Good options for building out a UI are Bubble, Bolt, or WordPress. I found that Bolt is a lot more beginner friendly than Bubble. Bubble is great for custom apps and SaaS products because you can use their templates and customize them. However, with Bolt, you just use their AI chatbot and it's going to build out the code from scratch. You can give it visual inspo, integrate tools, and you can ask it what you need to do next, which I found super helpful because it wasn't just building the code for me, it was also coaching me on how to build the code. It's also connected to Superbase, so you can customize the code yourself afterwards if you are a little tech savvy. Now, once your AI model and UI are ready to go, you can use something called APIs to connect them together. You can also use APIs to give your AI tool a lot more cool features and integrate a ton of different applications. An API is an application programming interface. Basically, you use APIs to connect other platforms to your current workflow or AI model. They sound kind of intimidating, but they're pretty easy to work with. I wanted to connect my OpenAI Assistant to my Bolt app interface. I did this by generating a secret API key from OpenAI and then adding it to my Bolt app code. You can see that after I did this, the OpenAI chatbot is working in the app, which I found so fun to play around with. A little tip, you definitely wanna make sure your API codes are safe and kept secret. Make sure to copy and save your API codes as well because you will only get access to them once. You may also need some help from postman.co to break down your API code so you can easily integrate it into your AI tool or workflow. It depends on the platform, whether you will need this or not. Now that your AI tool and UI are created, it's time to get creative. Let me introduce you to make.com. It's a super innovative automation tool that connects different apps together and makes your workflow a lot smoother. It takes care of repetitive tasks and it can link over 2000 different apps, again, with no coding needed. Plus their interface is really user-friendly. I have a lot of fun playing around with it. I'm gonna create something called a webhook for my project. Once the webhook receives certain information, it's going to trigger a set of actions that I give it. As an example, a webhook in make.com can automatically capture data from a type form or Google form, send it to a CRM, and then generate a personalized AI-powered email and notify the sales team. Now, I'm gonna connect my Make Webhook workflow to my Bolt app so that I can send emails to my users with the requested information. And of course, after doing this, I ran into like 20 of these error messages, which leads me to my next point. There can be a lot of bugs when trying to create an AI tool. And I ran into like 5 million while trying to create mine. That is why it's super important to test, test, and test even more. Test everything. Test all of the integrations, the bots, the features, and make sure it's running smoothly for your end user. If something isn't working, you can just reprompt it. In Bolt, for example, you can actually tell the AI chatbot to fix it and it goes to work fixing the issue. You can also pop your AI tool or app into Cursor AI and let it help you out. So if you're stuck on a bug or you need to clean up your code, you can just ask Cursor AI's code editor. It's gonna suggest fixes, auto-complete your code, and even help you find files or functions without having to deal with a huge hassle. Tools like these make the process a lot smoother. Now guys, once you're ready to launch, it's best to run a beta test with a few users and gather feedback. This way you're gonna know what you need to update with your AI tool before the official launch. Now that you've made a one-of-a-kind AI tool to serve the world and solve their problems, you will need to market it. Here are the steps that you can take to ensure that you have a successful launch. First, you need to build a landing page to highlight the benefits and features of your tool. Add customer testimonials, the founder story, and anything else people would love to know before they sign up. You want to make sure there's a buy button or maybe a book a call button and potentially even offer a demo. And make sure people can actually download the app on your website. And if you're still looking for a simple website builder that also uses AI, Shopify is a really great tool because they have over 8,000 apps that you can integrate right into your store and they also have an AI assistant and ready-made templates. 
So I've linked a free trial for you down below. Another way is to do direct outreach. You wanna collect leads using tools that find verified emails and phone numbers. So good tools for this are Apollo or LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Then once you find them, reach out to your ideal clients on LinkedIn, email, and DM. A great hack is to actually offer them a free trial of your AI tool. This is one of the quickest ways to get paying customers. Once they try your app and fall in love, they're gonna to wanna to pay for it. You can also create social media channels and post organic content sharing what your tool does and explaining how it works. Another method is creating UGC and running ads on platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, and TikTok, depending on where your target demographic hangs out. Now, before getting into specific monetization strategies, the most important thing is that you avoid just sharing the features of your tool. You wanna to make sure you're promoting the value that users get after actually using it. Now, here are some monetization strategies for you to make some money with your AI tool. First is pay as you go. You can charge per user so people only pay for what they need and how they use your app. You can do subscription tiers, so you can offer different plans with more perks at higher levels. You can do white labeling, so businesses can just slap their logo on your AI and they can sell it as their own. You could do one-time purchases with extras, so you can sell your tool once but keep the cash flowing in by selling add-ons. You can do referral perks, for example, give users rewards for bringing in new customers. You can even offer AI services on the side, so you can offer done-for-you options for those who need some expert help beyond just using your platform. You can give some smart data insights, so you could sell your platform's analytics without compromising user privacy. And lastly, you can do enterprise packages, so you can hook up big businesses with custom AI setups. Now get out there and go create your new AI business. It honestly took me about a day's work to figure it out and build my own. And guys, a really big hack is that most of the platforms have educational content right on their websites to help teach you how to use their tools. So if you feel a little lost, just know that there are resources out there every step step of the way. And the crazy thing is that once you create an AI tool, it's going to work for you 24 seven. This is one of the quickest ways to reach a passive income. Join the AI revolution and build your reputation as one of the OGs in the vibe coding world. I'm Christmas Shulukina. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you found this video valuable or learned something, please give it a like and let me know what you learned in the comments down below. And as always, if you want to stay up to date on our weekly business videos, make sure to subscribe to Learn with Shopify. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.